Hi there, I'm Dr. Stephanie Falk. And what I wanna talk about today is a coping technique that I refer to as Take 10. And what Take 10 allows us to do is to keep a small stressor small without snowballing or feeling larger than it needs to be. And so Take 10 allows us to espouse a larger perspective when we have in the moment stress. So what you would do is you would ask yourself a series of questions around the number 10. So you would be faced with a stressor and then you would ask yourself, is this gonna matter in 10 minutes? Is it gonna matter in 10 hours, in 10 days, in 10 months, in 10 years? And asking yourself that question allows us to usually embrace a larger perspective and to acknowledge that the stressor right in front of us, although something that we don't wanna to have to deal with, is probably not as impactful as it feels in the moment. And so applying this to my own life, um, I, I, I like to get to work on time. I like to arrive about 15, 20 minutes early so that I can turn on my diffuser, get my heat going, arrange my pillows, that sort of thing. It's important to me. Uh, the other day, my kids were just kind of not getting their act together as, it, as it, uh, it was time to get their backpacks, get their shoes on, and get into the car so that I could take them to the bus stop. But they were just kind of dragging their heels. Finally, we made it to the car and I thought we were gonna be on time, but yet we had to turn around because one of my kids forgot their backpack. And so I was a little bit slower than normal. And then when I got on the freeway, I still thought, okay, well, I'm gonna make it a couple minutes early, so maybe I can't do all the things that I wanna do, but I'm at least not gonna be late to work because that's super important to me to not be late. Um, and so what happened was I got on the freeway and I started going and I'm starting to, to feel good and listen to my music and I'm thinking you're gonna be on time. And then there had been an accident a couple hours before and the freeway was backed up and the ag exit that I was waiting for and looking for was pretty backed up. And so at that point in time, I, I, was, I was stressed and I thought, dang it, like, why did they have to forget their backpack? And, and, and why were we all just kind of moving slow today? Like I, I was getting a little bit stressed and annoyed with myself. And then the thought that came into my mind was, wait a sec, like, is this really as stressful as I'm responding to it? Am I making it out to be a little bit bigger than it is? And so I actually applied that idea of, t of take 10. And so I said to myself, Steph, like, is this gonna matter in 10 minutes from now? And the truth is, is, is that yes, it'll matter in 10 minutes from now because I'm probably not gonna make it to work on time. Or if I do, I'm gonna be barely screeching in before um, my scheduled appointment. And I don't like that. So it is gonna matter in 10 minutes. Is it gonna matter in 10 hours? Um, it may or may not. In, in 10 hours, what might end up happening is that I tack on an extra hour if I'm gonna be late to my first meeting. Maybe I rearrange my schedule a little bit. And is that something that I can handle? Can I handle my day lengthening a little bit? And the answer to that is absolutely, I can handle that. It's not something that I want to have happen, but I can certainly manage it. Is the stressor gonna matter to me in 10 days? No, it's not. Is it going to matter in 10 months? Absolutely not, in 10 years, no. So this stressor is honestly just a really small stressor. It's not something that I like. It's not something that I, I was expecting or wanting to happen in my, on my morning. Um, but I can, I can handle it and it's gonna be okay. And so Take 10 allows us to have a larger perspective, to see the stressor really for what it is, to navigate and manage the stress around it. I hope that it's been helpful to observe this short little clip. Thank you for watching and I hope that it finds you having an absolutely wonderful day.